everybody, it's Amy. I'm back to make another optical illusion with you today. Last time we made the 3D hand, which I thought was pretty fun. If you guys like that, I've got something else neat to show you today. Today what we're gonna make is a disappearing color wheel. And when we're done, it's gonna look a little something like this. And it's gonna do something pretty neat. I will show you when we're finished. First thing you're gonna need today is a paper plate. The reason I use a paper plate instead of paper is because it's a little bit thicker, tends to work a little bit better to get that color wheel to spin. And we're gonna take a cup. I have a plastic cup, you can use any cup. Mine is about three inches, three and a half inches around. That works for a pretty good size. If you have something about that size, three and a half inches across, put that on top of your plate. You're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna trace around the bottom of the cup. So now we've got a circle on our paper plate and we're just gonna cut that out. If you need a little help cutting, just grab a grown up to help you. Right. Go ahead and get our circle cut out. And now we need one more circle. Our next circle is gonna be made out of cardboard. So we need a little piece of cardboard like this. Check around your house and see what you can find. Ask um, grown up to help you find some if you're not sure where to find cardboard. We're gonna take our pencil. We are gonna trace our white circle that we just cut out. We're gonna trace that on the cardboard because we want them to be the same size. So go ahead and put your circle on the cardboard. Trace around it. And now you've got a circle on your cardboard the same size. We need to cut that one out too. Cardboard can be a little bit tricky to cut, so grab a grown-up if you need a little help with cutting the cardboard. Now, I got mine cut out a little earlier, so I have my piece of cardboard right here. So you can see we have a white circle and a piece of cardboard, both the same size. Now, we need to color. To make our color wheel, we need some color on our circle. But we have to divide our circle into six parts. Here's how we're gonna do that. First, we're gonna draw a line right across the middle to cut it in half. If you wanna use a ruler to get a really straight line, you sure can. I'm just gonna do my best to draw that straight line right across, okay? Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a V shape on top of my line. So now you can see I made that V shape. So now there are three triangles on the top of my circle. I'm gonna flip it around and do the same thing on the other side, make a V shape. So now you can see I did a V on top of my line and underneath my line. So now I have six triangles, it's like a pie, six pieces of pie. I'm gonna cut color each one of those triangles a different color. Here's the colors that we are going to use, blue, yellow, and red. Those are our primary colors. We are also going to use orange, green, and purple. Those are our secondary colors. Those colors are gonna work the best for you to do your color wheel. So grab your colors. We're gonna do one triangle of each color because we have six colors and six triangles. So each piece of that pie is gonna get its own color. Red, yellow, if you need a little more time to color, you sure can pause the video, get your coloring done, and then catch up after you color. I'm gonna do an orange. If you go outside the lines a little bit, that's all right, because by the time we get this spinning, it's gonna not make any difference. It's gonna look pretty cool. Oops. We got purple. See, which colors do we have left? We need to do green. And then our last color is going to be blue. So, and you have all your coloring done, your color wheel should look a little bit like this. All those pieces of the pie are colored a different color. Now, we have to put a couple of little holes inside our circle and also inside our cardboard. I'm gonna set the cardboard down 
put the circle on top of it, because remember, they're about the same size. I'm going to use my pen to poke a little hole. We're going to do two holes close to the middle. We want them to be about a centimeter apart. Centimeter is about that big. If you want to get a ruler to measure it, you can. Otherwise, you can kind of do your best to guess. I'm going to use a pen to poke down towards the middle of my circle, poke a hole in that circle in the cardboard. And move over about a centimeter and do another hole. So, poke it through there a little bit more, open up that hole. Now, you can see, if you look closely, we've got a couple little holes in the middle of our circle, about a centimeter apart. You might need to use your pen to poke into the cardboard a little more. You can see we've got a couple of holes in our cardboard as well, about a centimeter apart. Now, Set those aside for a minute. The next thing we're going to need is some yarn. Now my yarn is very colorful. It's like a rainbow yarn. It doesn't matter which color you use. This is just the color I had. You're going to want to cut a piece of yarn about three feet long. Measure that out about three feet. We are going to take one end of the yarn and put it through the hole, one of the holes in our circle. I like to use a pen to kind of help push it through. Kind of help push that yarn through until you can grab it on the other side and pull it through. If you need a little help, you can grab a grown-up to help you with that. There we go. Take the other end of the yarn. This one's gonna go through the other hole in your circle. Use that pen to kind of push it through. Push it through, grab it on the other side. All right, so we took our thread, we put one end through each hole on our circle. You see how the circle's kind of stuck there on the thread now? Now, we are also going to put our cardboard through the thread. So, take one end of the thread, stick it through one of those holes in your cardboard. Use your pen to kind of push it through if you need to, so you can grab it on the other side and pull it through. Same thing on the other end of the thread, through the other hole in your cardboard. Use your pen to kind of push it through. Pull it out the other side. All right. Now we're going to push our circle and our cardboard kind of together. So they're right next to each other, kind of in the middle of that thread. See? Now we've got the thread going through both circles in our cardboard and our circle. Now, on those loose ends of the thread, we need to tie those together. I like to make a double knot, so tie it once. And tie it one more time. That way it stays nice and tight and won't come undone when we're trying to spin our circle. All right, so here we have it. We have our thread. We have our color wheel circle. We have our cardboard behind it. We're gonna push them together into the middle of our thread. Now, here comes the fun part when you get to take your color wheels and you get to spin them. Now, I will tell you, it might take a little practice. So don't get discouraged if it doesn't spin real well for you the first time. It took me a little bit of practice to get it to go too. The fun thing is, that when you do it, you never quite know what's gonna to happen to these colors. Watch these colors and see. I've seen it make different illusions depending on what light you're in, how fast you're spinning it. So let's give it a try here and see what, if we can get it to go. You're gonna kind of spin it with your hands and then you wanna pull it straight. Let's see if I can get it going here. Sometimes it takes me a couple tries. There we go, spin it and then pull it straight and kind of watch what happens to those colors. Did you see something in those colors? Did they do something a little bit different? Spin it, see if we can get it going again. Spin it and pull it straight. Sometimes they go so fast they almost look white. Sometimes they look yellow and purple. Sometimes I've got an orange color. It kind of depends on the light you're in, the speed you go. So practice with this a little bit. We'll see if we can get it to go a little bit more here and then see what you can see on the end there. All right, did you see how those colors all kind of blend together? And do you see all the colors or do they kind of go together and seem to make a different color or maybe a couple different colors? If you practice with it, you might be amazed to see that you find different colors when you do it outside or you do it inside, if you do it in different light.
But now if we look at it, did the colors change? All the colors all still there? Yeah, they're all still there. But when we spin them, sometimes they look a little different to our eyes. And we might think that the colors had changed. So have a little fun experimenting with different speeds of spinning it. Do it outside, do it inside, do it in different lights. Maybe let somebody else try. See what color combinations you can come up with as an optical illusion. I hope you enjoy doing this. I think optical illusions are kind of fun. Thanks for joining me. Maybe we'll do another optical illusion another day. Thanks. Bye-bye.